waking up and realizing that because you can pay the bills, that is not enough. Ooh. I need to feel safe with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to feel stable with you. I need to feel just nurtured and taken care of by you spiritually, emotionally, mentally. Yeah. And for so long, because someone could do that financially, they felt like they could neglect every other part of who we are. He makes this paycheck and we live here and we have this car. We are full beings. Mm -hmm. We have a whole soul yeah, yeah. and spirit that needs to be nurtured. Hey, what's up everybody? Make sure to like and subscribe so you can catch me when I drop a video. So I wanna talk about something that we never talk about when it comes to dating and it's the topic of when women are saying, I want a man to understand me emotionally and spiritually. And I don't think men understand what that means. I think it's easy for us to make videos about wanting that from our men, but we don't really elaborate on that like what does that really mean you know most guys when they hear a woman say you know i want you to understand me emotionally and spiritually they're like does she like want me to like i don't know get her closer to god or something or does she want me to like cry with her or something like that's like how guys think right and we are now in the era of decentering men. But for the women that still like men, like I, I like men, I have a partner. Um, but I still decenter them. Like I still make myself the main character. I have learned that it is important to be able to communicate with them exactly what you mean. Otherwise, they're just not going to get it. They're just not going to get it. And so that's why I think we need to elaborate more and talk more about what we mean by, I want you to understand me spiritually and emotionally. So I wrote some things down. Let me grab my handy dandy notebook. <laughs> I have like a little tiny notebook that I carry everywhere with me when I take notes um, and there's like this little tree, if you can see it, I drew on there. And this tree was a representation of like what I wrote. But before I show you what this tree is about, I am going to read to you what I wrote. My memory's a little trash, right? And I want to be an actress. <laughs> My memory was great when I was a kid. I don't know what the hell happened, but anyway. So when women talk about them wanting or wishing that their man or their ex would have spiritually and emotionally understood them, what does it mean? Um, so the spirit is a non-physical part of us in which the seed of our emotion and character rest or is awoken from, which is our soul right and when we talk about emotionally um emotion is the instinctive and the intuitive state of our minds that derives from our circumstances our mood and our connections to other people so again when we're asking men to understand us spiritually and emotionally it is hard for them to conceptualize that because already they have been taught to be emotionless and the the whole thing about spirit i mean they kind of relate that more to like a belief in god right they they when when guys or most people think about spirit they think about oh like a like that like a casper the thing that's floating above you and so how do you expect a man to understand how to protect something like that or care about something like that or understand something like that, right? So I kind of went and dug a little deeper and what I believe it means is, and, and what she wants is that she needs 
you, the guy, she needs him to acknowledge and understand and protect the non-physical part of her, who she is, that makes up a big part of her personality. It makes up a big part of why she makes the choices she makes. And it's essentially her character. And so that's the spiritual part. Now, with the emotional part, which I wrote here, um, you know, like protecting or providing her for her emotions, that means to provide her with an open door of trust towards him. So towards you, the guy. And that means not going against her intuition, you know, which means not to threaten her well-being because once that's threatened, um, the, the defense mechanisms go up for the woman, right? For the woman, for you, the girl. And when that happens, instinctively a woman's mood and the way she views the relationship changes which makes her change with you it makes her moody with you it makes her moody with him whatever you however because you know i'm i'm in and out all type of characters so the thing is we want guys to provide something that they have a hard time providing and if you have it you have it if you don't you don't but if guys don't understand that spirit is the non-physical part of us that makes up a lot of our personal choices um our character they're not gonna know how to protect that they're just gonna think oh that means like go to church with her or something pray with her or something um and the same thing with goes with emotion a guy just thinks about tears crying in lifetime movies <laughs> like they don't know that what that means is protecting your well-being so when your intuition about something starts tingling it doesn't affect your mood it doesn't affect the way you perceive the relationship and so i drew this tree like i showed you it's it's hard to see i drew this tree and so the tree is in an environment and the environment is the spirit right that's that's what's uh, around around the tree and the nutrients is the emotion okay and the non-physical part sorry the physical part is the consistency and the reason i put it that way and it looks this way here is because you're the tree right and your environment which is like what's outside of you what what you bring to what's outside of you so whether you give oxygen because you're a tree you give oxygen you you know feed the 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 little birds and the the little animals <laughs> whatever you provide shelter or shade whatever that if it's not protected, like if a guy comes into your life and the environment is trash, he's not protecting the well-being of the state of your tree. Like what you're supposed to do is being counter attacked, right? It's being attacked, counteracted by the planter, the guy. It's being counterattacked by his his actions. And if those actions means polluting the air, um, I don't know, like planning the relationship or bringing you into a place where you're not safe, then there's a big probability you, the tree, 
will be stunted. And as far as the nutrients, if he's not giving it the water and the nutrients, the healthy things it needs in order to grow, then that's where the fruit stops, you know? Like it's, I mean, you can bear fruit, but it's not maybe gonna be as healthy or nutritious, right? And the physical part, which is the consistency of taking care of the tree, watering it, giving it nutrients, maybe um, shoving around the soil. Then I can't say that this relationship, you and this relationship will thrive. So again, I think we want guys to understand what spirit means but i think what we need to tell guys is hey in order for you to care about my spirit you know that means that you know who i am you understand me you know that the choices i make come from the baseline of who i am what I've been through, what I've experienced, what I what I believe in. And because and we are in a popcorn society where people don't really get to know each other well, most men don't understand their women. They don't. They just know the basics. She gets her period, you know, this time of the week and she likes chocolate covered almonds the the hair dye she uses is clairol like they know these things her favorite bag is from saint laurent like they know the basics but they don't know the crux and the the, the deep parts of you so i think that that's a big part of a man being able to understand you and protect your spirit and, and, and bond with you spiritually. And then when it comes to emotion, um, a man that not only understands you, but respects you, will be able to bond with you emotionally. But if he doesn't understand or respect you, he's not gonna care about, as a matter of fact, he's gonna completely discount that you have intuition. He's not going to even, it's not even going to cross his mind. Like if he cheats on you or lies to you, he's not going to think that your intuition picks up on that. And this is why decentering men is important because as a woman, your instincts change drastically based on the trauma you've experienced. And so when you descend our guys and your instincts get better, you will not put yourself in a position where you're begging a guy to spiritually and emotionally bond with you. You just won't. I'm thankful that if there's something in my relationship that's missing, I can tell my partner and he's like, this is what I can do and this is what I can't do. And if you feel like getting a second partner will help you get whatever that is that you need, great. While that's happening, I'm gonna work on what I can, but I'm not gonna like leave you, you know, high and dry and like keep you hanging. And if I do, do what you gotta do. But most women don't have the option, right? And most men are not that understanding. Most men aren't. So I want when you ask a guy to understand you emotionally and spiritually, I want you to ask yourself the question, does he actually know me? Does he actually understand me? Does he actually know my character? Or 
am I showing one face and showing another? Am it is is my spiritual side and my emotional side opposite? Are they not really mirroring each other? Because sometimes a man can see that your spirituality and your emotions and your actions just don't match. So it's easy for him to just kind of play the game and run around what he needs to do. And then you're wondering like, I don't understand why he doesn't understand. Well, do you understand yourself? If you understand yourself, he'll understand you're nothing to play with, <laughs> right? He would understand you're nothing to play with. So, um, yeah, like I wanted to just make this clear because I do see a lot of videos on TikTok and in YouTube and even videos that I totally agree with what they're saying. Like they want to be understood. Yeah, I, I agree. But first, let's start by explaining to guys what at least a man that's worth a damn, what it, it means to be understood and loved and grow with in a spiritual and emotional sense. Because if we don't know what it is and we're asking the guys to understand and fulfill this for us, they're gonna be just as confused and they're gonna be hitting the mark every single time. And you're gonna be like, man, it's not getting better. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have about this topic. And if you're interested in these kinds of topics, make sure to drop a comment so we can talk about it some more. All right, love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.